Good morning everybody. So in today's vlog, I thought I would take you guys with me for the next 24 hours or at least the next full day so that you can see what a real day in my life is as a student living abroad studying physiotherapy here in Germany. So if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Julianne. I am a Canadian. I've been living in Germany for three years now, which is crazy. I've been living here with my husband. We've been married also for three years and we both moved back to Germany because he's German. We decided to come to school here. That's why I'm here. And honestly, we're just having a good time. We're just living life and also being students. So this morning I actually have like a sports class, but it's not like, you know, back in high school when you had sports class and you were just running. We're more so learning how to teach the sports, so you know, I can actually get myself a little bit ready, but definitely more casual. I have my makeup basket here. So I already washed my face, applied my SPF. Right, I have this brow gel, brow mascara. Little bit of bronzer. some of this blush I have this highlighter stick that I am very slowly working through so just a little bit there 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 and there And then something that I've been doing a little bit differently is instead of wearing like mascara and everything, I've just been curling my eyelashes and I kind of like it. Like, I kind of like not wearing mascara now, which I would not have said before. And maybe it's just because the mascara that I was using wasn't very good, but you know, it would always like smudge on my bottom eyelid and I don't know, it just never looked good. And that is basically it. I think maybe come winter, I'll like look for another mascara that works better. But for now, in the summer heat, this is pretty good. So now before I leave, I do have some time. I always like to do like a little bit of studying or like some kind of work in the morning before I head to school. Um, I think I'm going to try and like organize my flashcards a little bit. That is today's task. Hey guys, so I'm back from school now and my classes in the afternoon were canceled. So I stayed behind for a few hours and were, I was like practicing these things with some friends and it was really good. I it felt like a good use of time, but of course it's so hot today. It's like 28 degrees and honestly, I feel like the weather is just as exhausting as my classes sometimes. Like, I get home and it's hot and I'm just so exhausted from the heat that, like, it's so hard to focus. But it's only 4.30 now, so I don't feel bad about, like, taking some time off. I think I'll probably, yeah, just, like, relax, do some knitting, take it easy for the next hour or so, and then get back into studying. I'm just looking out my window now and I see that my blueberry bush it has so many blueberries on it. Let me show you guys. Look at how many there are. Blue 
All right, so now that I have been resting and relaxing for the last hour, I think it's time to start studying. <laughs> Excuse me, I have the hiccups. I think it's time to start studying again. So I'm going to be working on... <laughs> oh. So I'm gonna be working on my anatomy flashcards. I use the program Anki on my computer. I totally recommend this. You do have to download it onto your computer, but it has been the key to me getting through this program. And so I would recommend it to literally anybody. So in about a week and a half, I have another anatomy test. And this one is on all of the muscles from the hand, the arm, and the shoulder. And also like the neck or part of the neck and top, top of the back. Sorry if these hiccups are super annoying. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this test coming up. It's a lot different comparing it to studying for neuroanatomy. Anatomy is, for me at least, so much simpler because, you know, you don't need to like wrap your head around something to understand it. You know, you can see most of the things and it's pretty like logical, especially like even the names of things to remember them, you can usually like figure it out. So I'm quite confident for the exam coming up, but obviously we need to study no matter what. You need to study a lot because if you, if you would ask me now to name all the muscles even, I wouldn't even be able to name them on, let alone tell you where they start, where they end, where they run. Um, what their function is, which nerve controls them, you know, we have to learn all of that stuff. So it's definitely not just, oh, here's this muscle and here's this muscle. It's a lot more in-depth than that, but even though it's more in-depth, it's more simple. So I'm gonna try now and go through some flashcards and then I'll probably take a break later, do a workout, have a shower, and then come back and do more.